Well, I'm excited to tell you today about two new software offerings that are coming your way from PipeServer to help automate the transmission of data between the model and the PipeServer application. The software we're going to talk about today is called PipeServer Connect. It's an add-in available for both Autodesk Revit and Autodesk AutoCAD. Now this software would take the complex configurations within your model and export them out to a file that PipeServer can read. It's also important to note that this software is free and it can be found on the Autodesk App Store. So to get this software, navigate over to the Autodesk App Store, search for PipeServer, and you'll see both software offerings available for both AutoCAD and for Revit. It's a free download, and the download comes in as an installer package for Windows. Now install it like you would any other application. Once installed, you can open up Revit or AutoCAD and you'll see that our software is available. In Revit, it's a dockable window like this. In AutoCAD, it's an application palette. But both are meant that you can interact with your model and the application at the same time. So let's dive in and take a look at the software. Now for most of this I'm going to do my examples in Revit, but everything we talk about in Revit also applies to the AutoCAD plugin. I will jump over into AutoCAD just to show you the small differences between the applications. In PipeServer Connect for Revit, you can count on the application supporting both the Revit family content and the Fabrication ITM content. In my view, on the right hand side, you see a list of assemblies that you've already created within your model. There are certain tools up here to be able to filter and search these assemblies and then to refresh the list. Now within this list of assemblies, you can use the magnifying glasses on the right hand side to help locate the assemblies that you'd be exporting. And once located, you can use the checkboxes to export the cut file. Now another way that you can use the application is to use model selection instead of selected assemblies. So switch this over to model selection, highlight whatever you want in your model, hit the export cut file button, and a file will be generated. Now we did include a couple tools in here to help you map parameter data from Revit to the pipe server application. Those can be found here under the application settings. Now on the left hand side you can see a number of pipe server properties that are available to customize. And on the right hand side you would just type in exactly the name of the parameter that you've populated within your content. Under the registration tab here you can see that there's a shortcut to the pipe server connect user guide as well as a shortcut to email our support. It's important to note that both the PipeServer Connect applications for Revit and AutoCAD require that you're running PipeServer version 3.657 or newer on your kiosk. Now let's export some cut files and see what they look like over in PipeServer. I'll use some fairly complex examples, number 5 here and number 6 over here, which will show you a grooved and a welded example. So we'll just select the assemblies and click on Export Cut File. give the file a name, click on save. Now when I switch over to the pipe server application, I click on the importing tab. I do want to select which importer I'd like to use. We're looking for the pipe server.psvr importer. Now if you don't have this importer available, you'll just contact pipe server support to get a license. Select that one and select the file. Now over on the right hand side, you'll see that it recognized all of these parts. I'll select them all, click on import to pipe server, and import selected. Loaded in eight parts into pipe server over in the design and parts tab. Let's take a look at what it found. Well, there it is. You can see that the files imported correctly. CHWS 5 and 6 showed up just fine. 5 was our grooved example, just had two outlets on it. And six was that really complex welded example with a lot of outlets. So like I said, everything that I've shown you so far in Revit applies to AutoCAD. Let's go take a look at the AutoCAD interface. Now PipeServer Connect for AutoCAD is going to support Fabrication CAD MEP ITM content. It's going to support AutoCAD MEP content and it's going to support Plant 3D content. Now instead of showing you assemblies within the PipeServer Connect palette, it's actually showing you CAD MEP spools. Well, the same tools are available. You can use the search function, you can use the refresh button, the magnifying glasses will help you locate which spools you're talking about, use the checkboxes or the header checkboxes to export your cut files. The same modes apply, selected spools and model selection. With model selection you can just draw a box around what you're looking to export and click on export cut file. The same tools within the settings are available. You can map custom parameters. Go ahead and drop whatever you want in here under pipe server property and then attach it to a property that is available within your content. 
So that is Pipe Server Connect for AutoCAD and Pipe Server Connect for Revit. One of the many new software offerings coming your way from Pipe Server. Now if you download this software and you're enjoying it and it's saving you time, do us a favor, come over here to the feedback icon. This will take you to a website where you can fill out this little form. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know if there's anything that we can do to make the application a little bit more useful for you. Well, thanks so much for watching.